Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the Snarblox set, the helm and the armor that go to it. And we'll take a closer look at it so you can see some of the details. And as you see, the eyes glow red, and there's lots of little thorns around it, so it's kind of pokey. And the Barbarous Thorn Shield also goes very well with the helm and armor, but we're just reviewing the helm and the armor today. And the Snarblox set is made to make you look like a Snarblox, which is the beast to the right. And the set's helm provides you with a sword damage bonus of medium. So it's pretty nice. And the armor also provides you with a sword damage bonus medium. And both of those mediums combine to make a very high damage bonus, which we'll touch on a little bit later. Now, the Snarblox set can only be crafted in a shadow lair, which are kind of difficult to get to but you do not need recipes for this set, which is kind of a give and take kind of thing. And the set also makes you look like a complete boss, which is always nice. So here we're going to compare the effect of the Snarblox set on our sword. And right now we're not wearing the Snarblox set. We just have the Volcanic Salamander on. And our damage is 158, 158, 188. So our last strike was a 188. And now we're going to show you guys what it looks like with the Snarb set. So, show you the effect of that very high damage bonus I was talking about. And we have everything the same as the last round, except the stage looks a little different, but we're still going to fight the same enemy. We still have the Furious Lamberge and no shield. The armor is the only thing that's changed. And there's some of those nasty chameleons, and we'll try and get a good combo going so you guys can see the difference. So, looks like a 190, 190, 190, 190, 225. So that's 188 versus 225. So it obviously has a very good effect on it. And if you do want to get the Snarblox set, you will first need a Wolver coat or a Wolver cap. Then you'll need to take the coat and your cap to a Dusker coat or cap. And from the Dusker, you can go to the Ashtail coat or cap. Then you'll need to visit a Shadow Lair, and alas, you can make the Snarblox coat or cap. And to get to a Shadow Lair, you're going to need 1,800 CE. So that can be a little bit spendy. Or I would suggest going with three really good players or friends and dividing the cost between the four of you so you all would only need to pay 450 CE and hopefully your friends are kind enough to do that split the cost with you and this is what it looks like when you get to the end of the Snarblock Shadow Lair right there we just collected a Nightmare Main and make sure that you have a Nightmare Main before you go on the Snarblock's Lair if you plan on crafting both the helm and the armor because it will only give you one nightmare made at the end and you'll need two to craft both the helm and the armor so see we have some pre-made some pre-selected recipes here we didn't have to learn them and our ash tail cap is at level 10 and we've got the nightmare made and everything that we need and voila there's the snarblox cap and then we'll go down to the snarblox coat we got the ash tail coat at level 10 we got another nightmare main and all the other necessary stuff. So now we have our full Snarblox set. And this is what it looks like when we all have it. So that was a pretty good run. And be sure to take your Polaris on those runs if you have one. Very useful. Now, the Snarblox set also has some extra little goodies for you besides the very high damage bonus. Now, as you see on that slag down there, that little purple circle, that means that he's going to be dealing shadow damage. And the Snarblock set has a defense power against shadow damage, so it's very useful for those Vanna and Shadow Lair runs. The set also has status resist against poison and freeze, so all around it's a really great set and I'd really recommend it to anybody. Hopefully the video helped you out and thanks for watching, I appreciate the views.